What's up guys, this is Ian here, coach of your Ladner Lantern, bringing you guys our AABL Week 1 match. Taking on D. Danley and his Anaheim Psyducks. Um, now, going into this match, I had no indication of how much experience D. Danley had. Um, and yeah, that's kind of all I was going into this match with. Um, we're playing this match pretty early. I'd like to actually thank him for playing this match pretty early with me because I know my schedule next week is absolutely insane um, and I didn't really give him a ton of options to work with but uh, his team consists of Hooba Unbound which is a Z user for him, um, Breloom, Cobalion, Araquanid, Cryogonal, Jellicent, uh, Claydol, Mega Manectric, Salamence which is a Z user, Chansey, Comfy, and Flareon. I was expecting Jellicent, Chansey, or Salamence to come none of which did. Um, Breloom did come, which scares the living daylights out of me. Um, I didn't bring anything to deal with Breloom necessarily, like Mega Gardevoir is about it, <laughs> and Skarmory. Um, I, I did bring Brave Bird on my Skarmory, but yeah, if you haven't seen my team builder, check it out. It'll be going up right before this. We've got a Focus Sash, Spike, Double Spiking, Final Gambit, a Selgor. We've got a weird defensive Skarmory set that I'm regretting um, with Rocks, Whirlwind, Bruce, Brave Bird. We've got a Trapping Dusclop set which looks to be fairly useless against everything not named a Raquinid. Um, actually it could, could be useful for Krogon as well but it was there for the Jellicent and the Chansey neither of which came. I'm very surprised that at the very least the Chansey didn't come to stop my Gardevoir. Because on paper, Mega Gardevoir shreds through his team, so I wasn't entirely sure there. Uh, what else do we have? We've got Bandit Weavile, Scarf Flygon, and Mega Gardevoir. It's like Psyshock, Hyper Voice, Sub, will o -Wisp, I think. Um, which might be a good set. We'll see how it goes. So, um, yeah. I'm surprised to not see the Salamence because it looked like it tore through my team bar Weavile. Like a fiery MZ set kind of just beat me, or so I thought in prep at least. Um, yeah, I, I'm not really sure what to think of that. Jellicent again walled a lot of my mons. Um, it could stop the Flygon from doing stuff. Uh, like a Colber set was really good. Uh, it stopped the Girder. I guess he didn't think the Girder had a great matchup against him. I actually think. Um, Girder might have been the play, but we'll see. Excuse me. Mega Nectric is super scary. Cobalion is super scary. I was really hoping to not see the Cobalion, but it decimates my team. Araquanid, another mod I was really hoping to not see. Um, I'm anticipating it to be a Sticky Whip set, so we'll sort of see how the game plays out. Cryogonal is the only removal he brought, even though he's got quite a lot. Um, so we won't be able to necessarily... Uh, too much about that, but if it is spin, we could spin block with our ghost. We are bringing ghost. Hoopa was always scary. I, I wasn't as scared about Hoopa just because I've got a Selgor on the team and you turn on Flygon, but we'll see. Uh, I mean, Hyper Voice like destroys that thing too. Um, what else? Breloom is scary as hell, and I didn't prep well for it. Um, I don't actually think that I prepped very well for the match in general, but we'll see just sort of a tangent. Claydol is something that I wasn't anticipating to see anyways. Comfy, something I wasn't anticipating to see anyways. Flareon, something I wasn't anticipating to see anyways. I think Chansey could have been a really good bring to stop my Guard War. Um, and like Rotom Wash or something like that. Um, Nido King, it walls the Nido King as well, but I didn't bring Nido King. So, um, anyways, let's get right into things. I'm going to lead off with Dusclops, thinking that he's going to lead a Raquinin so I can trap it. Um, and he actually loses the Cobalion, so that's pretty bad for me. Um, he's actually just going to Volt Switch and see that I'm specially defensive. That shows no special um, no special attack investment on the Cobalion from that damage. Um, I just clicked Mean Lift to sort of trap the Cobalion and like Nightshade it to death because it was a huge threat to my team. He makes a really good play by Volt Switching out, actually. Otherwise, um, I think this game would have gone wildly different if Cobalion was dead. It was kind of the biggest threat to my entire team. Um, in comes the Arachnid though, this is the thing I wanted to trap in the first place, so I'm fine with cashing in on the main look switch. I'm going to throw off Toxic this turn as the Liquidation comes off. I'm really baffled by that Liquidation damage, because it didn't look like it was Invested or Water Bubble. 
or a boosted item. So I, I'm not entirely sure on that, but the Calc sort of like threw me off quite a bit. Uh, he might be Water Absorb for Rotom Wash. Uh, he doesn't really have a water weakness on his team. So that kind of like weirded me out because if you want to bring a water absorb on to spring Jellicent, but I'm not entirely sure. So um, I'm gonna throw off a nightshade this turn as he gets up his webs, um, and then this turn I'm gonna go for rest. Uh, good play on his part to go for webs as he gets the liquidation crit there, which is really unfortunate. But I get the rest off. Um, so now we're at full HP and wrapping and slowly dying to this toxic damage. Um, slowly but surely, I'm just gonna take another turn of rest. There's another liquidation, more toxic damage, and now. This turn, I'm going to switch out because it looks like he's going to die to Toxic. Um, leftovers slipped in my mind. He was supposed to take 30% from Toxic this turn. Um, and Leftovers slipped in my mind, and he's actually going to live because of that. But I, I'm going to go into Skarmory, which is going to tank this Liquidation here. Pretty well. <clears throat> and he's not going to die to Toxic. Um, this turn, I'm just going to set up my Stealth Rocks, as I imagine he thinks I'm going to Defog. Defog would have been a good play, but I'm not carrying the Defog, which is what my regret is. I should have carried Defog and Skarmory, um, because I can get it in more freely on things like Cobalion. So I'm going to get up my rocks as he's going to get up his Sticky Webs again, which doesn't really matter, and then he's going to fall to the Toxic Stamina. So we're at Araquin is first death of the entire season. Um, oh, I forgot to mention that this is actually the first AABL match for all three leagues, so lots of pressure. <laughs> Uh, Mega Manextra comes out here, and I'm scared to death of this thing. I have to switch into my Dusclops to tank whatever it wants to go for. He overpredicts a little, and thinks that I'm going into Flygon, and clicks Hidden Power Ice, um, which I'm fine with. I can just, like, get another turn of rest off here, as he Volt Switches into his Hoopa. Um, this turn, I'm supposed to wake up, but I decide to just sack the Dusclops to the Hoopa, because I don't have a switch into this thing. Like, I could have gone with Selgor, I guess, but I'm not sure if the Selgor outspeeds this thing after webs anyways, so... Um, it, out comes the Dark Pulse, and it kills me. It was not a roll, not even slightly. That doesn't give me any information, it just tells me that my Dusclops is dead. Um, I'm going to go into my Acelgor now. Um, what I should have done was go Mega Gardevoir here, I think. But I go into my Acelgor to directly threaten this out. Um, so he's going to go into his Kragonol, which tanks the Bug Buzz really nicely here, actually is about 20%, and this is sort of just an exchange. I think I can get up my spike this turn as he clicks Rapid Spin. Yeah. Um, he's going to Rapid Spin again as I Bug Buzz. I'm just sort of trying to chip this down. Like, my Sash is broken now, but he, he didn't knock it off, so I don't have a burden. Um, I'm just sort of trying to chip, the, chip this Cardinal down over and over again, and Cobalion comes in for free here on the Bug Buzz. I was thinking of clicking Final Game at that turn, and I really should have to weaken this Cobalion quite a lot. Um, make it so that I can go into Flygon safely. But instead, I don't. <laughs> and so now, um, Cobalion's gonna outspeed me here, and he's gonna kill me with the Iron Head. Nice crit. Uh, crit didn't matter. In comes my Flygon. I'm gonna click Defog here. I think this is the turn where I can click Defog. I don't necessarily kill this thing with an Earthquake, but he still doesn't know what set I am. So I thought that he was gonna switch into Cryogonal here for sure. Um, I'm going to get the Defog off as he actually stays in and crits me with a close combat. So that's the third crit of the game against me, and I don't actually think that I get any crits this entire game. So the hack's not necessarily going in my favor. You know, that's the game we play, but it, it changed a lot of what could have, could have happened this game based on those crits, especially that close combat crit, um, pushing my Flygon really, really low. Uh, here I should probably sack the Weavile, to be honest. Um, Weavile's not really doing much this game, and instead I'm going to go into my Skarmory which he gets a Volt Switch off on. So he predicts me really well to switch out there, and, um, well, he knew I was Scarf because I outsped him, right? So um, he predicts me to switch into the Skarmory because I can't touch him, <laughs> and he goes for the Volt Switch um, into the Hoopa, which is just going to claim another kill here with Dark Pulse. Uh, pretty free, and it's going to outspeed me, obviously. I'm going to go make a Gardevoir. This thing dies to a Hyper Voice for sure, as he's just going to sack off the Kragonal. Really good play on his part. That was the play he had to make, actually. Otherwise, he lost a Mon, essentially. He, if he switched in Cobalion, it died because of the chip damage I had on it. If he switched in Brilliant, it died. If he switched in Mega Manectric, it died. If he switched in, uh, if he left in Hoopa, it died. So he made the good call of sacking the Paragol there. Um, Cobalion's going to come out now and just clean up my Mega Gardevoir. I'm going to go Flygon to try and revenge kill this thing, because it's basically all I have. Earthquake, uh, he's Shuka, so he, he knew that he was going to live in Earthquake regardless for me, but... The roll was not my favorite regardless. <laughs> Iron Head's just going to come off here. 
Uh, he, had, he had no reason to click the Iron Head, uh, click anything but Iron Head on the main guard war, so he, he did a lot there. I, again, I, I just don't have switchings to, to steal on my team. I might have to patch that up, actually, because Skarmory and Rotom Wash are kind of like my steal switchings. And Skarmory got wrecked by Cobalion because he could fold switch too. Now, granted, this is a like a one this is a one time failure, <laughs> essentially. Uh, just because he had Mega Manectric and Cobalion to threaten out the Skarmory, not every single team is gonna have a combination like that. Uh, because Cobalion can just safely click an offensive move and then fold switch out on the Skarmory pretty freely. It's basically the only steel type that can do that outside of like Probo Pass. But Skarmory outspeeds Probo Pass, so it, it's a wildly different situation. Um, he built a really good team, actually. Um, he, he built a, he built a really good team for me. Uh, we've always gonna come out here. I'm just gonna click Brick Break. Uh, I'm banded in, so I have to click one move, um, and I claim another kill. So bring the differential back a little bit, but Mac Mach Punch just absolutely wrecked my face there, uh, regardless of what side he was. So we ended up taking the L. We're gonna go 0 um, and 1 minus 3 now in the, the L. Not a horrible match. I think my prep was really poor. Um, kind of tunnel visioned on Dustclops trapping something and getting hazard stack with two different mons left me a hole of offensive pressure that I needed. Excuse me. And I made a mistake in prep by putting Defog and Flygon over Skarmory. But, uh, I mean, I don't know how much it mattered because I had like Iron Tail on there instead. If I was like Dragon Dance variant, maybe, but it, it wouldn't have mattered now that we know the Cobalion was Shaka the entire time. I probably should have just led with the Selgor, too. Um, I could have just clicked Final Gambit right off the bat. My plan to set up a bunch of hazards sort of like went awry and just didn't happen. Um, and it didn't matter because Pryagonal could spin for free once Dustclops died. So that's going to be it. Next week we play. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I don't remember his name, but we play the Tampa Bay Weasels. Um, this is actually way in the future. The week doesn't start until 10 days from now. <laughs> so um, I will see you guys for that team builder, I guess.